Hello, I'm Jessie and welcome to Tech World, your monthly roundup of some of the world's top technology stories. For this month's Hot Topics interview, we spoke with EY's Anna Felton about female entrepreneurship. First though, here are your top international headlines. The UK government is looking at all options, including a potential regulator as part of new legislation seeking to govern the internet. According to BuzzFeed News, the proposals will include a regulatory body similar to Ofcom, which oversees broadcasters and telecoms companies. The government told the BBC it would publish a white paper this winter, but a spokesperson for the Department of Digital, Culture, Media and Sports said it had nothing to share at this time. In other news, microblogging website Twitter has notified an unknown number of users that their private messages may have been leaked to third parties for more than a year. The bug, which has since been resolved, involved direct messages between users and businesses that offer customer services via the platform. The company said it had resolved the issue immediately upon discovering it and that fewer than 1% of its total users had been affected. Last but not least, Instagram's co-founders Kevin Systrom and Mike Krieger are leaving Facebook. Systrom, the chief executive, said they were departing to explore their curiosity and creativity again. Instagram was purchased by Facebook in 2012 for $1 billion in cash and stock and has more than 1 billion users worldwide. The news follows on from reports of tension between Instagram's co-founders and Mark Zuckerberg. That's all for this episode, but keep watching to see this episode's Hot Topics interview. We spoke to Anna Felton from EY about female entrepreneurship. What's the current state for female entrepreneurs? Why is it that women receive less funding than men? So I think we have a bit of a mixed bag. Um, absolutely, females receive less funding than males. Um, I think the latest statistics is about 10% of all the funding goes to females. Um, mm -hmm. So obviously not the right uh, balance there. Yeah. However, I think there are some good uh, initiatives that's happening. I think the investor community has woken up to this. It's a bit of a lost opportunity for them. Uh, the entrepreneurial um, community has woken up to this and obviously diversity has been on the agenda, or the corporate agenda for quite some time. We're also seeing more active involvement from government. So we're not there yet. Mm. It's not moving as fast as it should, but it's moving in the right direction. So what roles do investors play when it comes to decreasing the funding gap for female entrepreneurs? I think they have a huge role to play and I think they know that. I mean, we're seeing a, a lot of change, as I said, particularly there are a number of funds setting up now that are only investing in female-led businesses or female co-led businesses. And really they have the same setup as any fund, right? They want to return, give a return to their investors. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, you know, that's the way they should be set up, but they're focusing on a particular niche. Mm -hmm. um, that is actually underinvested, so there should be a lot of opportunities for them. Sure. Um, and I think that's a great thing. Um, there's also, you know, female-specific spaces um, for networking and so on, which are probably more set for a female or more diverse group of people, should we say? Yeah. Also positive. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, you know, there are more government initiative now to drive and, and decrease the funding gap as well as large corporates that you know either do that internally uh, or have gone out externally and said we're investing X amount um, you know to, to sort of decrease this funding grab and, and we're really committed to the course um, which is great. How can we take responsibility to try and improve this? I think everyone has a um, really important role to play. I think generally the time of being passive in this question is over. Sure. In fact we have mm -hmm. to drive action um, and the good thing is everybody can do something to change right I think definitely it needs to be led from the top but ultimately everybody has a role to play and everybody can drive the issue forward and how can we do that um, we can all be mentors for female entrepreneurs specifically but frankly for anybody in business but if you focus on the female side of things you know male and females can be mentors to you know anybody that wants to get ahead in business. Being a mentor meaning you challenge people, um, but you're also a voice when they're not in the room, right? And the good thing is, is that anybody can do that. Um, obviously, we need more role models, but that's also something that will come with the issue being uh, pushed forward, mm -hmm. right? More people 
uh, seeing successful female entrepreneurs really, you know, IPOing their business, receiving a lot of funding, or generally being successful, it will make them think I can also do it. Sure. Um, and then finally, I think we need to start calling it out in every place of the workforce, right? That could be small, so, um, you know, at work, for example, unhelpful banter mm -hmm. is just not okay anymore. And we can call it out, you know, anybody can do that. Um, we can call out non-diverse uh, boards, board of directors. We can call, not, call out non-diverse teams, right? Mm -hmm. Particularly if you're an investor, you know, it'd be very powerful to say, hey, well, I've got 20 people and they will look the same. Yeah. And I know people have done that, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's a really powerful message. Everybody can do something about it. I think everybody has a responsibility to do something about, about it. Um, and there's lots of ways of helping. So finally, what advice would you give to women either working in business or looking to break into the business world? Um, that's a great question. I was hosting a panel uh, only last week, so my answer is probably partly from me and partly from my sure. great panelists. Um, you know, I think let's just say it out loud again. There is no real or economic reason for females to be less successful than males. In fact, there are a lot of research showing that female-led companies are more successful than, um, you know, than other companies. Uh, and particularly, I think companies which are diverse in terms of their leadership are more successful. So there is no real reason why you as a female entrepreneur watching this wouldn't make it. Mm. Um, I think that's a fair and really important point. And actually, when you break down this sort of what makes a successful entrepreneur, you know, I would see it as successful entrepreneur has to be resilient, uh, has to be able to think on, on their feet, has to be able to take calculated risk, mm -hmm. and probably most importantly, kind of forget their ego, leave it at the door, yeah. and build diverse teams with people who have different skill sets than you and arguably are better than you mm -hmm. in many areas. And actually, when I look at those attributes, they're female attributes. Um, so really, just do it. That's really good advice. Thank you very much. Thank you. For more technology news, head over to www.uktech.news.